Hey guys, my name is Kevin. I'm the owner of Reed's Arcade and Pinball Repair. I just want to take you on a quick little walkthrough of kind of what I got in stock here and what I do. So let's get started. Uh, right here, you got a Roadshow. Great pin, nice wide body. You got your talking heads and all that good stuff. As you can tell on certain things here, like on some of these inserts, maybe on that bad weather, Monday through Friday, I've not started LED bulbs. I kept a lot of stuff uh, kind of same though, incandescence on all your GIs, so it doesn't look too overwhelming. Uh, just got this in about a month ago from a customer, Lord of the Rings. Uh, name's Cody, owns a 904 Zine. Definitely check it out. Uh, brought me this. Uh, had a problem with two of the boards, just some corroded trip things. Uh, put a remote battery holder on it. He brought it to me to shop out, so I just took this game completely down. Hopefully, you can get a good view with the glass on it, but this game cleaned up beautifully. Got a good shine. I just do that. That's what I do. I shop out pinballs, and that usually results in the wick. The flippers are weak. I can rebuild flippers. I take down all everything, all the plastics. I flame polish everything, as you might be able to see. It's kind of hard, but flame polishing is just where you take plastics like this that might be lightly scratched or have any kind of abrasions in them. And I just take a butane torch and lightly go over it and make them shiny and brand new again. Uh, here's another pin that I just finished for a customer, Jurassic Park. I bought this pin uh, completely dead. Nothing worked on it. Got a new power supply. Did some transistor work on the boards to make some coils and stuff done. Flipper rebuilds. Once again, play fill was completely stripped down. Waxed. White rubbers were put on everything because I like white. Keeps down the dirt from those black rubbers. Plus they're a little bit more responsive. Uh, added LEDs to the back here on the boat dock area, blue for that, and then I put green LEDs in the mountains here. Uh, very fun game. Good good dating's game. Very interactive. Uh, here's another one that I've done, my personal uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. I got this game, it was completely trashed. All the ramps that you might see here, they were completely dark brown. Took these, polished them out with Novice 2, Novice 1, then went through them and flame polished everything, and now they're practically see-through. You can see that. It's just a huge improvement. Really good skill. Highly recommend anybody try to learn how to do that. Now motor assembly. Playfield looks absolutely gorgeous. Here's a quick shot of my business card there. If you ever want to go online, shoot me an email or give me a call about anything or have any questions about anything. This game's great. Got back box animation right here. It's kind of hard to see, but when you hit a certain shot, he'll lift his arm and pull a different rabbit out of his hat or a rhinoceros or a lion. Really good game. Good family game. Really beautiful cabinet. Really good artwork. Plus, if you're a Rocking Bullwinkle fan, you really can't beat it. Uh, here's the new collection of stuff I just got in. One of my personal favorites. I bought this one for myself. Bally's Champions Pub really fun game really low production numbers I think they made 1300 of these I haven't really cleaned it or stripped it down yet as you can tell there's still like black rubbers on the slings and plate fields good but it is a little dirty I need to go through it but really nice I want to do a lot of work to it I think this will clean up good ramps look good really nice DMD and the cool thing about this Bally's about five to eight games had it, but on the back blocks, when you open these up, the lighting symbol is actually connected to the back with a shroud of plastic, and it's a simple plug. You can take the whole thing off, which is a great way to work on games. Just picked this up for another customer. Flintstones. Cab art on this is absolutely wonderful. Everything on this game is super clean. Uh, I still have to go through and shop it out. I mean, it looks good, but it's not as shiny as I want it to be. I did order an LED kit from Cointaker I'm going to put here in all the uh, inserts and stuff to kind of brighten up the play field, but other than that, it just needs a good thorough cleaning. Ramps are really fun on this. They circle around and go past the flipper and then drop it in the opposite flipper. Really cool bowling alley shot. You can get it in there. You can see the pins, and you got to hit strikes and spares. Callouts on this game are absolutely wonderful. Um, another one I picked up, a friend dropped off for me, he bought this and uh, needed a complete shop out job, it was really filthy. Still have a few switches that need to be fixed, but nothing major. Really good on this, this game cleaned out very, very well. I stripped this game down to bare play field, 
went over every piece with magic erasers and novice two and novice one and really put about five to six coats of wax on it flame polished all these ramps game turned out really fun good fast action shooting game pretty extreme great dvd dmd i'm sorry but other than that that's kind of what i got going on right now if you ever need anything or want to know any more questions please give me a call or check out my website at reads arcade and pinball preparator i'm on facebook shoot me an email whatever look me up and this is kind of what i do and that is about it